कामान अर हति बीरभुजांग जी तपो दिव्यंग पुत्र का जी न सत्तंग शुद्धे जस्मात ब्रह्म सुखम तनंतम दिस इवनिंग आई शैल एक्सप्लेन टू यू सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट भार्सेस फ्रॉम सिमद भागवत श्रीमद भागवत इज द ग्रेटेस्ट कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ वेदिक लिटरेचर इन दैदिक लिटरेचर वी फाइंड a desire tree whatever knowledge you want to derive there is in the vedic literature and shrimad bhagavatam is described as nigam kalpataro golitam phalam the desire tree of vedic literature and a tree is uh, eulogies on account of the fruit so shrimad bhagavatam is the ripen fruit of that desire tree just like uh so god has given our food nice milk fruit food grains and sugar rice wheat so many nice things so we are not meant for eating stew mais dieu nous a donné pour que des humains des aliments différents à manger nous a donné des des céréales nous a donné des fruits nous a donné du riz du sucre mais nous ne sommes pas faits il y a un corps humain pour manger des excréments comme les porcs but at the present moment we have discovered a civilization that every man is work is to work very very hard day and night and he is satisfied only in sex intercourse this is the tendency of this material world uh, for sense gratification one is advised to work hard day and night like asses dogs and hogs c'est là la tendance de la civilisation actuelle On recommande à tous de travailler très dur jour et nuit simplement afin de trouver des plaisirs très 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 importants de travailler dur et de vivre comme des ânes comme des porcs comme des chameaux Therefore this of that advises his sons my dear sons uh, you do not waste your valuable body human honor body like the dogs and hogs C'est pour cette raison que le roi Richard Dev conseillait à ses fils de ne pas gaspiller leur vie comme les, les chiens, comme les chameaux et comme les porcs, mais de les utiliser en tant qu'êtres humains. Then what what is the purpose of human life if we are not meant for living like the dogs and hogs? Then what is the standard of human life? The answer is topo. the mom putra ka my dear son this life is meant for tapo tapo means austerity alors richard de va donner la réponse à ses fils en lui disant que la vie humaine est faite pour tapo et tapo veut dire austérité tapo another mean is that uh, temperate just like if we go in front of the fire or if you go in the open sunlight we get some temperature that is called tapo a tapo sometimes it is called tapo temperature yes tapo so this tapo means uh, some temperature why is not working uh, <coughs> that means voluntarily we have to accept 
सम ताप हो और लिटिल टेम्परेचर so generally the animals they are meant for sense gratification but human life has to practice tapasya to control sense gratification just like ah uh, we are prescribing to our disciples no illicit sex life no intoxicants no meat eating and no gambling for example notre maître spirituel recommande à tous ses disciples de suivre quatre principes qui sont que ces disciples ne doivent pas manger de viande qu'ils ne doivent pas prendre de produits intoxicants qu'ils ne doivent pas avoir de rapports sexuels illicites et qu'ils ne doivent pas non plus euh, jouer ou bien spéculer mentalement monétairement no illicit sex means less like the dogs and hogs they have no consideration with whom uh, they are having sex intercourse uh, the hog especially pig he does not discriminate whether sister mother or anyone else you see so tapo means uh, we are accustomed to so many uh, and sinful activities so we have to restrain from them okay bro what are the the tapasya uh, accepting voluntarily some painful situation uh, that is required say for i am accustomed to smoke or to drink wine so i have to give it up this is meant for human life i have to give it up although i shall feel some pain in the beginning but still i have to tolerate this is called tapas okay. in the western countries to give up this habit is a little difficult because about uh, 40 years ago one of my brother god brother came to london and he had a talk with marquis of jetland and the lord inquired from him whether he can be converted into a brahmana oh he inquired from my god brother whether he can be made into a brahmana brahmana il avait demandé à au frère spirituel de chez la propade s'il pouvait devenir un brahman so our god brother said yes you can be converted into a brahmana if you give up these uh, habits namely illicit sex intoxication meat eating and gambling and now the the first what the gentleman's reply jot lord jetland it is impossible alors ce monsieur lord jetland avait répondu c'est absolument impossible so that means he was not prepared to accept the tapasya ça veut donc dire qu'il n'était pas du tout préparé à accepter le tapasya accepter les pénitences voluntary le abnegation but here rishab they say that the human life is meant for tapasya mais ici rishab they dit que la vie humaine est faite pour tapasya and not for uh, living like pigs hogs and dogs so next he says tapo dibham because tapasya means to accept voluntarily some painful situation uh, it is not very much painful but they consider but we are undergoing already some painful situation working day and night to satisfy the senses that also requires tapasya hard labor but here rishab dev says that you accept some uh, painful condition it is not at all painful but it appears tapo dibham for god realization the idea is that everyone is working hard day and night 
but that is for sense gratification. But similarly, if you take little trouble, if you accept voluntarily some painful condition for realizing God, the bomb, uh, that is the human mission. Now the question may be raised that both ways are to accept some painful situation. So why shall I accept painful situation for realizing God? Uh, for material sense gratification, although I am working very hard, I am getting immediately some pleasure, sense pleasure. En effet, lorsque j'agis et j'accepte des situations difficiles pour en retirer des plaisirs matériels, j'acquiers ce plaisir immédiatement. So, why shall I uh, work uh, hard or accept some painful situation for realizing God, which is uh, unknown and fictitious to me? So, the reply is, Tapo Divang Putraka. Jino Suddheto Sattva. My dear boys, if you accept a little trouble for realizing God, then your existential condition will be purified. And what is the use of purifying? There is need. If you purify, purify yourself, existential condition, then you will be saved from the uh, uh, four kinds of troubles or miseries of life, namely birth, death, old age, and disease. So God realization means spiritual realization. Donc la relation de Dieu est la réalisation de son moi spirituel, de son identité véritable. So this of them said, uh, Tapo Dibbang Putraka Jena Sattam Suddhe, by purification of your existence and condition, you uh, enjoy Brahma Sukham. After all, we are searching after happiness, pleasure. So, on account of our impure existence and condition, our so called happiness is temporary. Brahma Sukham means. Uh, <coughs> here it is. Jena Sattam Suddhe, when your existence is purified, now we have got impure existence, this material body. When we get our spiritual body, that is called purified. So, Rishabdev says, Sattam Jasmad Brahma Sokham Anantam. As soon as you get into your spiritual body, then there is unlimited happiness. We are after all, uh, in the Vedanta Sutra it is said that the living entity or God, both of them are for uh, enjoying life, blissful life. Il est dit dans le Vedanta Sutra que Dieu et que tous les êtres vivants existent, sont faits simplement pour ressentir une, une joie, un bonheur extrême. Just like uh, when you are diseased, you have got some fever. So you cannot enjoy life. Uh, similarly, in this diseased condition of material existence, we actually we cannot enjoy life. Therefore, if we purify our existence and condition by tapasya, then we come into our spiritual existence and we can enjoy our life eternally. Usually, therefore, that when we have got this human form of life, we shall not waste it simply uh, for sense gratification like the dogs and hogs. We should practice tapasya, restraint, and then we purify our existence and we are situated in a position wherein we can enjoy blissful life forever. Now the process is prescribed. How to execute this tapasya life? Rishab Dev says, Maha Sevang Dharam Ahud Bhimukti. To get liberation, liberated from this entanglement of material life, one has to uh, serve Maha 
ग्रेट सेंटली पर्सन बहुत सेवादार हम आहुत विमुक्त विमुक्त मीन्स फॉर लिबरेशन इफ यू वांट टू गेट लिबरेशन फ्रॉम दिस मेटीरियल बॉन्डेज रिपीटेशन ऑफ बर्थ डेथ ओल्ड एज एंड डिजीज एंड नॉट ओनली दैट सो लॉन्ग वी लीव देर आर सो मेनी मिजरेबल कंडीशन ऑफ लाइफ दिस इज कॉल मेटीरियल एग्जिस्टेंस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट Uh, out of this entanglement, then we must take to the service of uh, great saintly personalities. So that is the way for liberation. Mahat seva dharam ahur vimukte stamat dharam joshita angisham nishangam. There are two, just like we are in the cross row. Which way we shall go? But that can be understood in this human form of life. Donc il y a une voie que l'on peut suivre. Et si par exemple on se trouve à un croisement, il y a plusieurs routes, il devient difficile de savoir quelle est la voie à suivre. Mais on peut savoir grâce aux écritures ce qu'est la vie exacte à suivre, quelle est la mission de la vie, de la vie humaine. Uh, it's human form of life. We have come to this point by evolution. Now we are on the just on the cross road. Whether we shall go this way or that way. We want to be free from the entanglement of material misery. Then here it is commanded, mahat seva. We must render service to the holy, saintly person. And if you want to go deeper and deeper in the darkest region of existence, then we should turn our face for saint Gaudi. So. Uh, the instruction is very long, so make it short cut. I wait to inform you that this Krishna consciousness movement is trying to save person from going to the way of darkness. If you go farther and farther on the path of darkness, we become more and more entangled. More entanglement means. There are eight million four hundred thousand forms of body. So after death, we have to accept another body. Distributed in the Bhagavad Gita, "Tatha dehan tarang prapti dhiras tato namoyati." As we are passing from one body to another in this life, <coughs> I was a child. You are a child. Everyone. But that child body is no more existing. I am existing in a different body, uh, and I have to pass through many different bodies. So this is also dehantram prapti, changing the body. So similarly, after death, we shall change the body. So dehantram prapti means to accept another body. Now, as I have already said. There are eight million four hundred thousand forms of bodies. So we have to accept one of them at the time of death on the basis of our mental condition. So if we are accustomed to the beastly mentality like dogs and hogs, then naturally we are going to get such body. But if we practice during this life, human form of life, while well, we are Intelligent and a uh, godly life, then we are going back to home, back to God. Now it is up to us to decide whether we are going to the dogly life or godly life. That is our choice. According to the instruction of Rishab, there he says that this human form of life is a chance to uh, practice godly life and go back to home, back to God. So we are in the juncture. Now it is up to us to decide whether we are going back again to the cycle of birth and death from one body to another, or go back to home, back to Godhead, attain eternal body, blissful life.
Nous nous trouvons maintenant à la croisée des chemins et c'est à nous de choisir si nous voulons retourner vers une vie matérielle de plus en plus basse et avoir donc un corps de chat ou de chien une prochaine fois, une vie de plus en plus dure, de plus en plus agréable, ou au contraire, nous aller vers, dans l'autre chemin, dans l'autre voie et atteindre une vie spirituelle en pratiquant une vie spirituelle maintenant. So the path is described very distinctly. Mahasevadaram ahur vimukre. If you want to get out of this entanglement, then we must associate with saintly personalities. If you want to go back in the cycle of birth and death, then we may associate with persons who are addicted to sense gratification. On veut aller vers la voie qui va nous amener à la répétition de la vie et de la mort. Il faut alors vivre en la compagnie de personnes qui ne recherchent que la, la gratification de leur, de leur sens, que des plaisirs matériels. So now there are description, very distinct, very long description. We simply person, who is uh, not simply persons. So it will take uh, much time. Uh, we should request you. We have opened this branch. Of Krishna consciousness movement, just to give chance to everyone to come here and associate with the saintly devotees and make your life very successful. No. I shall uh, finish this lecture by uh, reading one line only. The symptoms of saintly person is given Mahantaste Samachitta Prasanta. Biman Nava Sru Hidasadhava Jai, who is a saintly personality that is given here, Mahantaste Samachitta. Samachitta means uh, they are uh, uh, equiposed, means they are not agitated by the worldly activities. That means it is described in the uh, Bhagavad Gita, Brahma Bhuta Prasannam. Really? This one of the qualification is samachitta, not disturbed by worldly uh, activities. Because in the worldly activities, either you make some profit or make some loss. So our position is when we get some profit, we are very jubilant. But when we are losing something, we are very morose, unhappy. But a Uh, Mahanta is equiposed. He is neither very happy when he makes profit, neither at all sorry when he makes losses. This is the first sign. Mahaseva, uh, Mahanta se samachitta prasanta. Prasanta means very peaceful. This is another qualification. Mahanta se samachitta prasanta. Bhiman nava. He is never angry. Suhida, and is well with her. Elle est aussi, euh, elle veut le bien-être de toutes les autres personnes, de tous les autres êtres. He is well with her not only for the human race, Suhida Sarva Bhutana, for all living entities. Mais cette personne, like this uh, uh, person that who are very friendly to the human being, but they send the Poor animals to the slaughterhouse. Yeah. Right. Saintly person. Right. Right. Saintly person is Srida Sarvabhutana. For all living entities, his friend. Srida and Sadhava. Sadhava means well behaved. Sadhava, Sadhubhutana. Well behaved. The well behavior is described in this astra to become a devotee of the law. Terms of saintly person is to become devotee of the Lord. Et le symptôme, le symptôme principal d'une personne sainte est qu'elle sert Dieu. Mais it's now you can ask if you have got any question. Donc, je vais faire en fait, je vais terminer sa conférence maintenant. Alors, je m'en prie, si vous avez des questions, posez-les maintenant. Vous avez l'occasion. It means to serve God. Mm. He's asking, what does it mean to serve God? Help God. What does it mean? mean? Serve God. Oh. What it means to serve Him. You do not know the meaning of serving. Est-ce que vous ne savez pas ce que veut dire servir? 
Oui, c'est lui, c'est fait quelque chose de bon là. Moi, qu'est-ce que ça signifie que c'est dire Dieu, que c'est beau faire, que c'est toujours Dieu là, si on n'est pas capable. So, he said, uh, yeah, I know what means service. Service means that I must do something good for yeah. someone. But what does that mean to serve God if we are not able to do it? What is it exactly? What do we have to do? If no, you can do it as you are serving your country, your family, or your friend. You are serving already. It is not that you are not serving. So similarly, you can serve God. Donc vous savez ce que servir parce que vous servez maintenant votre famille, vous servez votre pays, vous servez différentes sortes de personnes. Donc vous savez déjà ce qu'est le service. Il s'agit de la même chose lorsqu'on sert Dieu. Just like we find from Bhagavad Gita, uh, Arjun, Arjun served God. Krishna, he was a military man, so he was engaged in fighting. Uh, Krishna wanted him to fight for his interest, so he fought. That is service to God. Any position, as you are serving your country, your family, your friend, you can serve God also. Showing the examples in every center, what we are doing. We are glorifying the Lord. We are preaching God's glory. We are publishing book for understanding God. We are cooking for feeding God. So many, all our activities are meant for this all. Oh. So his question is, if we glorify God every day, all the time, then is God going to give us something back, something in return for our service? God is already giving you everything. Dieu vous a déjà tout donné. Tout ce que vous avez vient déjà de Dieu. Even if you do not serve. Que vous le serviez ou non, il vous donne tout. Yeah, he is so kind that even those who are not serving, he is supplying all the necessities. Sa, sa volonté est illimitée, si bien qu'il qu donne, il le subvient aux besoins de tous les gens, même de ceux qui ne le servent pas. So when you serve God, whatever you want, you'll get. Mais lorsqu'on sert Dieu, on en peut désirer n'importe quoi, et on l'obtiendra toujours. Mais tous les sacrifices qu'on a fait. C'est sur le service que nous offrons maintenant, nous allons le faire dans une autre vie. Non, dans cette vie. Pas dans une autre vie, mais dans cette vie même. Just like we we are serving God, we have no profession, we have no business, we have no income, but Krishna is supplying all the necessities of life. We are paying for this house two thousand dollars per month. We have got one hundred such centers. Uh, we are spending about uh, uh, one million dollars per month. <laughs> But we have no fixed income. Krishna is supplying. So I can understand that really God helps you. Now you can understand by common sense that if you serve somebody here in this material world, he pays you some money, salary, and God is all powerful. If you serve him, he will not pay you. No problem. Uh, God is paying everyone, one who is not serving him. If you serve, he will pay you sufficiently. Don't bother. Il faudrait savoir si on exploite Dieu ou surtout savoir donner en attendant absolument rien. Là, on a un peu l'impression que vous donnez quelque chose euh, attendant autre chose. Mais finalement, je crois que l'être humain. That we are a little exploiting God. Hmm? Exploiting God. Exploiting God. No, you should not approach for exploiting God. That is not good. No, 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 et que même si l'on va vers Dieu pour l'exploiter, c'est-à-dire pour lui demander quelque chose, d'avoir quelque chose en retour, c'est quand même bien, c'est mieux que rien. Stop, stop. 
बिकॉज आफ्टर ऑल यू आर अप्रोचिंग गॉड इवन विद द पर्पज ऑफ एक्सप्लाइटेशन दैट इज नॉट गुड बट बिकॉज यू आर रीचिंग गॉड दैट इज वेरी गुड Car en fait que le que le désir soit d'avoir quelque chose en retour ou non, on entre quand même en contact avec Dieu. Donc c'est quand même bien. Just like in Christian religion, we know that the prayer is God give us our daily bread. So God is supplying bread to everyone. He doesn't require to asking, uh, but he because he is going to the church and praying to the God, he is very good. On voit par exemple que dans les prières des chrétiens, il demande de notre Père donner nous notre pain quotidien. Donc il n'est pas nécessaire du tout de demander à Dieu de nous donner notre pain quotidien parce que de toute façon il nous le donne. Mais enfin, mais en... she said that to ask, like the Christians are asking for their daily bread, it is something very difficult, very painful. So it is very tragical. No, these things are done by innocent person. One who does not know that God, without asking, He supplies. There is no need of asking from God. Simply, we have to render our service. Donc non, c'est simplement innocent de la part de ces gens qui vont vers Dieu pour lui demander quelque chose simplement parce qu'ils ne savent pas que Dieu leur donne. The definition of devotional service is given in the Vedic literature. Anavilashita sunnam, without any material desire. So God, as a matter of duty, we serve our Father as a matter of duty. And the Father takes care of the Son automatically. So does not serve Father; He gives all necessities of life. Même si le Fils ne sert pas son Père, son Père va quand même prendre soin de lui et subvenir à tous ses besoins. And what to speak of that Son who is rendering service? So God, for our own religions, besides chanting Hare Krishna, besides becoming a devotee. Yes, religion means to serve God. So the question was, is that we can serve God without necessarily practicing the practice of Hare Krishna, being part of this movement, and chanting Hare Krishna? And Shri Prabhupada answered, "In fact, religion means to serve God." We are preaching that anyone who has learned. How to serve God? How to love God? He belongs to first class religion. What is the name of that religion? Christianity, Hinduism, Buddhism, Mahomedanism. It doesn't matter. We see. We want to see the follower whether he has learned to serve God and to love God. That's it. So the question is that there was a man who was working in a house yesterday, and he was killed during his work, and he left his wife and two children. And this man was praying God every day. So what is going to happen now? His children will not die for want of her. Dreaming millions and millions of children. Why not her? So that in India, the people who are chanting Hare Krishna, they are very poor and they are dying of anger, uh, hunger, oh. hunger. But there is those who are very rich. They are not religious at all. They do not chant Hare Krishna, but are very rich and they enjoy very much. Yeah, but those who are chanting, they are not dying. We en français la réponse était. I'm Indian. I'm not dying. But you do not know who are chanting. Yes, I know. I when. No, that is not. That that I cannot accept. Those who are chanting, we have got a branch in Calcutta, in Mayapur, in Bombay, in Bindavan. None of our devotees are dying. But I regret to say that in Mayapur, in Navadvip, also I saw there two poor people dying. Uh, you, so you simply inspect only persons who are dying. You do not see who are living. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh
I ask the people here, we have got so many devotees in Europe, who is dying? Nobody is dying. It is simply propaganda. I know nothing about Europe. It is the first time I am coming to Europe. I know the problem. I was always in Bengal. But you are wrongly informed. You are talking from Europe about India. No, I was in India about one month ago. Ah, that what is the one month's experience? You have simply seen persons who are dying. That's all. So you have seen that all Calcutta men are dying? Yes, poor people are dying. Ah, this is all lying propaganda. I don't believe. I am also I am born in Calcutta. I am not saying anything to contradict you, just explain me. No, there is no contradiction. He, I am speaking that God is feeding in the animals, even the elephants, even the serpents. And why God did not feed the humankind? This is a wrong impression. Everyone has food fixed by God. Uh, even if he is not serving God, God is supplying all the necessities to the animals, why not to the human being? This is wrong impression. Pardon. Yes? That at the beginning was the world. And this world was God, and this world was with God. So what is this world? God, God, and God's word, they are identical. God's, God and God is God's form, God's quality, God's, uh, uh, I mean to say, today, everything is God. That is called absolute. Uh, as when I speak, my speaking is different from me. So that is not the case with God. The God's words, the vibration of God, that is also God. Dieu est absolu. The name of God, can the name of God be pronounced, uttered? Yes, why not? Oui, on va pas. Parce que, parce que Dieu était avant, avant. Is God? It was existing before we could uh, utter, we could pronounce. So, how can so God, because existing, His name was also existing. Therefore, <coughs> his name is not material name. Because God was existing, his name was existing. So God was existing before creation. Therefore, his name, his form is not material. God is not material. How is it possible to pronounce it materially without material tongue? Yes, it is possible. When you are purified. Oui, ça devient possible lorsqu'on est purifié. Has God put the suffering here for us to experience so that we will want to give up material lives and get closer to Him? Is it a punishment? Yes. Est-ce que Dieu a fait que la souffrance? Oui. Dieu fait l'amour pour les hommes. Dieu qui s'est nommé le Dieu d'amour. Is the God of love, does he punish man? Yes, God has got two business, maintenance and punishing. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Puritrana sadhuna bina sahaja duskita. That the government has got the law to give protection to the obedient citizens and to send the rascals to the prison house. Oui, Dieu a deux devoirs. She said that these laws, these laws are only uh, laws which exist in the human world, but that God doesn't have these laws. Well, human <coughs> laws are imitation of God laws. Les lois in the Vedanta Sutra it is said, Janmadha Sajataha. The absolute truth is that from where everything emanates. So this human law has come from God. It is only imitation, imperfectly presented. But the principle is the same. Il est dit dans le Vedanta Sutra. Mm -hmm. What is 
Guru Maharaj. I do not know him. La question était est-ce que à votre idée qui est Guru Maharaj? Et je suis pas d'avoir répondu, je ne le connais pas. Chan, Hare Krishna, we see also Hare Rama. Why are we talking about the Rama in this mantra? Rama is also God, another name of God. Rama means the who en enjoys. Krishna means who attracts. So God is the supreme enjoyer. Therefore he is called Rama. And God is the supreme attractor. He attracts everyone. That we call Krishna. So the names are on the quality of God. Quality of God. Le nom Rama veut dire celui qui détient tous tous les plaisirs, qui jouit de tout ce qui existe dans le monde. Et le mot Krishna veut dire celui qui attire tous les êtres. C'est pour ça que Dieu est à la fois Rama et Krishna. D'un côté pas Krishna parce qu'il est infiniment fascinant, et l'autre côté Rama parce qu'il détient toutes les joies du monde. Et tous les noms de Krishna expriment toujours une des qualités de Dieu. We have already question. Yes. You know that you explain exactly what is materialistic life and how is it possible to be in the world of of matter and at the same time not be entangled by it, separated from it. What is material life and how can we live in this material life? Material life means no knowledge of God, no service of God. That is material life. La vie matérielle veut dire que l'on ne connaît pas Dieu, on vit sans connaître Dieu et sans servir Dieu. C'est ce qu'on appelle une vie matérielle. He wants to know how can we live in this material world without becoming entangled. But you cannot know the uh, God by living here. You are trying to know so many things. Why don't you try to know God? Material life means one who does not know God, one who does not serve God. These are the two things. See, if you know God and if you serve God, that is not material life. Shri Prabhupada vient d'expliquer que la vie matérialiste veut dire vivre sans connaître Dieu et sans servir Dieu. C'est-à-dire que si l'on vit en servant Dieu et en connaissant Dieu, on ne vit plus du tout une vie matérielle, une vie matérialiste. So if you try to know God and if you serve God, that is not material life. Donc si vous essayez de connaître Dieu, to know the will of God. You, you want to know? Vous voudriez savoir? That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Sarvodharman Puritajya Mamekam Saranamaya. You give up all other occupations, simply surrender unto Him. That's right. This is the way.